ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் தி வெப் ரெஜ் ஃபைண்ட் தி ஃபங்க்ஷன் in load runner so we will see what is a web reg find function and we will see how to use it with different examples so before we move on to the video this is me your vasan shanmugam please do subscribe to little sla youtube channel if you have not subscribed yet like comment your questions and feedback in the comment section and share the video with your friends so first let us see what is a web reg find function so we can find the function here in the toolbox so let me just open it up for you so here is the webridge find and this webridge find function is a script function that is used to create checkpoints in the web virtual user scripts so basically the v user scripts and this allows us to search for specific text so here you can see it searches for specific text in the server response and validate whether the expected content exist or do not exist so what is the purpose of this web reg find why do we need this so the main purpose of web reg find is to verify the correctness of server responses during script execution it also helps in ensuring that the expected count such as a specific message or html element is present or absent in the response so when coming to the usage the webridge find is typically placed before the http request we want to validate for example if i'm going to validate let me just type in for example i just want to find the value which is the ta- the word welcome and if i click on okay So here you can see automatically the word or the webridge find function sits on top or sits before the http request which i want to validate so in this page i want to validate whether i have the uh, i have the response with the word welcome and this examine the responses received from the server and searches for the specific to specify text as i told you and if the text is not found or not located in the response it the function will throw an error so if it will tell us whether it is a pass or failure based on whether the word that we are searching is present or not so let's now see the syntax so here let me type the syntax so it's going to be webridge and underscore find and once we type it automatically we will have to give the text like on the top we could see the word text is equal to so for in this example i'm going to give it as exa- welcome and then here you can see the string last so the next is going to be where are we going to search the text what is the scope of testing and for this i'm going to give under double quotes it's going to be search and where is that is that a body or header or both is that going to be a body or header or both and then let's close it and then the next one is going to be fail so why is this required so we are going to define the behavior if the text is found or not found so for that i'm going to give as not found or it can be found or it can be ignore so either i can find it or i do not want to find it or i do not i want to check whether it is found or it's not found or whether i can ignore it so i can give the options here under the field so by this i can define the behavior if that what should behave if the text text is found or not found so not found considers it as a failure if the text is not found and found considers it as a failure if the text is found and ignore does not fail the script regardless of whether the text is found or not and then finally the last So what is this last? 
then a semicolon. So what is this last tells us? So this last indicates the end of the webridge find function call. So with that we end the webridge find call. So we start with the text that we are going to search and then the second part is going to be the scope of searching and then the third one which we define as whether we have to consider it a failure if the text is not found or consider it is a failure if the text is found or we can ignore and we will not make it as as failure regardless of whether the text is found or not and then finally we end up with a last which indicates the end of the webridge find function call so now we have return the webridge find function here so let's now execute and we will see how does this work and before that let's do a compile so to make sure that the webridge find function is perfectly fine so here you can see no errors detected so let's now run this script to see what is happening so here our expectation is that we are signing into a page and we want to find the word welcome in the response so let's let me execute the script and let's see what happens So now we can see that the script is passed and let's go to the action and under the runtime data and under the snapshot I will I can show you what is the expectation. So here under this response we could see the word welcome one or the word welcome. So in case if I want to change it to a different response. So let me just change the response and before that let me just show you so under line 14 so here you can see that registering the web bridge find was successful and that's the reason it has been a successful pass and so, so let's now go back to this again and i will show you what is happening exactly so in case if i want to change the word to welcome one the word the word with which we saw here exactly here so i'm just copying it copy selection or I, I can even do a add text checkup so here you can see if I click on OK automatically this comes in here and it it is searching in the body and the text is going to be welcome one and then last so let's run it again so this is again a modified way of checking so I have included the scope of checking or the scope of testing and then I have added the text and then finally the last so let's now wait for this test to get completed and then we will go for the next example of how does this does not work so here we can see an error that it's not found So let me try to change it. I think it should be mostly because of the space that we have left. So let me try it again. And here now we can see the same word, the welcome one exclamation mark has passed. So we have to be very careful when we give or when we define the web bridge find, we should be very careful with what the word we give. So for example, if I'm giving it as two, so what happens is this will fail. So now, let's change this example to a different way so for example I if I want to try this web bridge find in a different way so I, I believe the very first example is understood so we have we are searching the text welcome one in the response and we should remove any unwanted spaces inside the quotes so I have removed it and now let's try with the second example so now in the example to what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the count save the count of the response and then based on that we will check whether the script execution is halted on failure or it's not halted on failure and in whether what happens if it has been handled by the code so for that it's it's the same web reg find but then we'll have to add another parameter or attribute which is save count so this will save the count 
and I'm giving the name here as welcome underscore count so that I will save the count here so this is what I have added in the webbridge find and now what we're going to do now is we're going to validate it are we going to check the result of it so let me come to the end or come after the transaction and here I'm going to check the result of the web reg find and how are we going to do it so for that I have I'm using the if function a to I and then LR eval string so here I'm going to give the constant character in string and for that let me add double quotes and then a bracket and then the welcome count so the same value which we have defined here so let me just copy it and the welcome count and then let me close the bracket and if the value is greater than zero so greater than zero which means that it has been occurred sometime during the testing so if the count is greater than zero then we are going to give it as log on successful so which means if we get the response or if we are seeing the word welcome one more than once so that means the logon is successful so what is the else condition so what happens if we don't get the response and for that again the LR error message is going to be logon fail so this way we are going to handle the error rather than stopping the test I guess I have to close this bracket since this is closed and this one is not closed yet so I'll have to close it here yeah so now the error is fixed so let me again explain it to you so in case if we are getting more than one occurrence of the welcome count so which means we are getting more than one occurrence of the word welcome and then which means the logon is successful and in case if we are getting equal to zero or not not greater than zero so which means the logon is failed so let's now try running it and let's see how does it work so now we can see the response as the script passed so let's go back to the lines that we have defined the condition so let's go back there and here we can see the webridge find was successful and since it is successful we do not find any issue so what we will do now is let's change the response so I'm going to give it as welcome to and then let me run it again and now we will see we'll wait and see what's the response so let me stop it then let me run it again And here we can see the message the same way what we have expected so the logon is failed and the reason here is here the web bridge find let me just go back again to this condition so here the condition or the web bridge find is successful but since we do not find so this makes the script to complete its execution rather than stopping it in the middle of the execution but at the end it tells us clearly that the logon has failed and the reason is we do not find the word welcome to and that's the reason so this again it's very clear that this webridge find with this functionality of saving count and then the validation will do a validation but it will not stop the testing during the execution even we can write this way for example like the welcome to user is not present 
so welcome to or welcome even in fact we can parameterize the user so that particular user is not found so in this way we can even find which users is in the system and which user is not in the system and even this will be very helpful while you run or while you test your script and while you do your performance testing in case if you want to find a particular value is either present or not so this will help you in that way so let's again go back to the next example so i i hope you will i hope you understand this ex, uh, this example so in case if you do not understand please again go through the video and just come back in the steps so let me just do a quick recap so in the first example what we did is we just ran a straight test without uh, handling the error and automatically once the error is passed it ran ran successfully and the second moment when it failed the test has stopped so to handle that we have added this checking results of the webridge find which made us to run the test but at the end the result told us it has failed because we do not have the value in the response the expected value in the response and now let's go to the next example so now in this last example we will see on finding how to look for the entry in the log file that logged the call so for example since here we have just we are just testing only one web bridge find and it will be easy for us to find the value so what if you have multiple multiple web bridge find so in this scenario what we can do is we can set up or we can even install an id for this argument so how are we going to set this id so for setting up we will again go back to the web bridge find and then under this let's set up the id so we're going to set up an id as an argument here and for this one i'm going to give the name as check one so this is going to be the id so in case if i want to search for the welcome one or in case if you have some 50 to 100 checks in your scripts and you want to find the check one or you can even define this in a more better way in your script so in this example i'm going to give this name as check one and then let me run the script now so now the test is completed and let's let me just go back to the check the we the the id that we have defined in the script so let me open the script now and then let me pick up the word or let me pick up the id so check one is what i have defined and let me i'm going to search this word so i'm just going to search for check one so here the very first moment when we when we searched it automatically it showed us that the registered web bridge find check one was successful and the text is welcome one so what if the word is a failed one so here we can find in a positive scenario in a happy scenario so what if it fails so let's see how does it fail and what does it show us let me just run the script again And here we can see clearly that the text welcome to is not found and even even in fact if we just search automatically the check one so we can see that it has been explained here so the word check one is not found and then even we can find here that the first error message with transaction is error two three two six three double six the text is welcome and it's not found in the web bridge find check one so in this way we can easily identify the web reg find associated calls so with that we come to an end so let me just give a quick recap so this here is the web reg find syntax or the web reg find function and then we have we can define the scope of the search and then the text that we are going to search and then in case if we want to search it easily we can use an id and in case if we want to handle it through an error we can give these specific parameters for that so i believe this video is very very useful to you so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from ascension mugam and riddles law